Over 800,000 Canadians receive home care every year. Today's announcement of $1 million for research will look at safety in the home care setting, help to access risks involved in home care, and support the development of policy and practice related to home care safety. Dr. Diane Doran and her team from the University of Toronto will spend the next two years looking at the prevalence, magnitude, and risk of patient-client safety incidences in home care settings across Canada. This research is important to fill key information gaps about home care patient safety that will result in the reduction of adverse events. The Canadian Patient Safety Institute has learned that adverse events affect thousands of patients every year in Canada. It is important to have evidence-based risks identified in home care to assist with better outcome in the continuum of care. Ivanka Haramina's son David has cerebral palsy. She feels lucky to have home care staff she can trust, but much more needs to be done. You have to have a good staff and uh, if you don't have good staff, it's no good. We are, we are blessed with good nurses, you know, like, uh, uh, but uh, lots of them, they quit on us because they find it very hard with David and he was uh, too heavy for them and uh, they just quit on us. You, you teach them, you, uh, you train them, uh, nurses train them, you know, and you think, oh, thank God, now we're going to have another person, you know. They quit on us, so many. On their own, Ivanka and Stephen have adapted their home to accommodate David's needs. They've installed a therapeutic bathtub in his room and designed a custom-built accessibility ramp outside the house. With people like David, uh, they... Uh, they, don't, they, they didn't think that he's going to live that long. And they don't have uh, lots of, like for David, uh, where he going to go? Like before it was easier, we would go someplace with him, you know, like uh, to movies. Or, it's harder, it's harder and harder because he really needs uh, attention. Or example, uh, to church. I used to go to church with David, not anymore. Because he coughs so much, he has a trach, you have to suction him and disturb everything, you know, it's... Thank God for nurses who come here to help me, that they take him to park at least, you know. Today's funding was awarded to help generate new knowledge to contribute to the safety of home care clients. In our research, we've specifically designed it to address uh, both um, the needs of the home care clients, what's, what, what's the nature and extent of the adverse events that they are experiencing as a result of care provided to them in the home. But we're also interested on, you know, in investigating the impact on the family members, the caregivers who are supporting the home care clients because it's very much, uh, you, can't, you can't separate the needs of one from the other. Uh, one day at a time. Yeah. One day is good, one day is bad. Some days it's very hard with him, some days he has lots of seizures. You're probably familiar what seizures are. He has, the, doesn't matter that he has medication. Some days he is perfect. Yeah. And that's how he is. Results of this research will be released over the course of the next two years. The final report will be released in January of 2013 with the aim of informing change in policy, practice and behavior in the home care service setting.